Hi, this is Natasha from Dressing Roommate. I'm really excited to be speaking with L.A. Green, the founder of She Tech Conference. How are you? Hi, Natasha. I'm fine. Thank you for reaching out to me. Absolutely. So tell us, what is She Tech Conference? Well, the She Tech Conference, well, She Tech is a platform. Mm -hmm. And a part of the platform is the She Tech Conference. The She Tech Conference, <clears throat> excuse me, it is an annual uh, full day event where I bring together women in entertainment. And we have uh, several discussion uh, discussions on a panel. Mm -hmm. All of the panels are comprised of women. Mm. And so we talk about music, television, film, technology, and media. So we um, identify who we are, what we do, the brands that we have, the companies we represent, you know, you may be an entrepreneur, but you have a nine to five. So if you work for a larger company, we know you work for a larger company, um, you know, all of those moving parts. And then we really kind of like explore the latest trends within those industries. Mm -hmm. And then also who's working on what projects and how can people collaborate and create together. Mm. So three words that I always say for SheTech is that we're able to network collaborate and create. Wonderful. And what uh, motivated you to start this? I think just finding uh, a place that identifies with who I am creatively mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur, um, someone that doesn't like to waste time when I'm trying to network and learn. Because mm -hmm. when you're running a business and you know, you're trying to do the different things, you have to learn by working with other people. And so collaborations are important, mm -hmm. but how do you get those collaborations that really fit who you are so that you can be yourself and you don't have to change too much? Mm. So um, one of the things is that I've never found the compatibility with women. Mm -hmm. That's always been a problem. I could never find women that would burn the midnight oil. Mm. It was always men. And I, I just knew that there were women out there, but of course, underrepresented because if you look in a magazine and you'll read an article, you'll have a, a story about a woman, but it's not transparent. It doesn't tell you the backbone of what she's done and who she is. And she, maybe she was entry level. How many years did it take her to be entry level before she got up? Mm -hmm. You know, everyone looks at Oprah and we're like, Oprah did it. But there were steps that Oprah took. And so I knew that I needed to find a place where women felt like how I felt. Mm -hmm. And that needed a place to, again, network professionally. Mm. You know, removing all of the other things that um, these stigmas that are placed on women in business. Mm. Now, you mentioned. You work together. Absolutely. Absolutely. I so wanted to uh, dispel that. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we're very catty. We're jealous. We're very competitive. And with the competitiveness, men are competitive. So what's wrong with women being competitive? But I wanted to um, identify how, how are some of the healthier ways that we can be competitive and still work together. So yeah. I wanted to break those things down. Wonderful. I didn't have a conversation with myself. Mm -hmm. I needed to find other women to do this with. Gotcha. Okay. Like people, um, you know, just having a platform with women, when you're in the audience and you're looking to network, there are now women there in front of you mm. that share your story, your experiences, your visions. Mm -hmm. All the things that you thought were like moving targets, other women see those same moving targets. So you're not alone. Don't give up. If that's your passion, stick with it. If you're working hard, you can work harder or smarter gotcha. instead of harder. Okay. So I just wanted to bring all of those things together. Wonderful. Now, you mentioned it is a struggle for women to diversify media and entertainment. Now, what do you think are some of the main reasons why we struggle so much in, in these industries? Um, I took a lot of feedback from the men around me. Mm -hmm. And again, it's that part about working hard and strong. Mm -hmm. We're not willing to do it. And sometimes we can't do it because our personal lives interfere with that. Um, when we're moms, um, unfortunately, you know, you coming home late at night and your kid is being left with someone else as a caregiver, it doesn't come across, you know, like a good thing. But if you're a man who's doing that, you're the breadwinner, you know, you're the husband, you're that great guy, but what about that great mom that's trying to create a new path for her children? Mm. So when men are trying to work with each other, 
they don't want to worry about the woman that has to leave early or say she can't make it to a meeting and she can't come on board this project and that project because she has babysitting issues. And those, those are the main things and women, you know, very emotional. And those are, those are the thing, those are who we are. So if we can't change those things, who can we work with? Where those things fit? It's other women. Mm -hmm. If you need to leave early, there's another woman that will take your place and hold you down until you come back. Not someone that's going to huff and puff and blow because they don't understand it, because they can't connect to it. Um, that's the first piece. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With the diversity, if men hold the gold plates and they want to pass the baton, they want to have some assurance that it can be a woman that can carry that gold plate. Because the expectation is that that plate of gold is very heavy. Or whatever the bag is, it's heavy. So they want to know if they want to pass the baton to a woman and she can do it. And that's mm-hmm. how we get the diversity. Or if you have one woman that has broke that ceiling, be transparent. Identify the next strongest woman, not the next weakest woman that can make things fall apart. Not because she's your best friend or someone you grew up with. Find the next strongest woman. So now you have two strong women that can hold that same title. And then when you get three strong women and four strong women, now it's commonplace that there are strong women that can hold their place in entertainment and media. You know, television and film, mostly um, the castings are males, not females. The roles are written for males because men come in early, can leave late. Mm. They can send the mom a text and say how the kids do and be home late. Moms doesn't look good when moms do it. So I want to change that. Mm. Well, I can tell you are definitely full on, like, straight to the point, super, super honest. Is that what women should will, will walk away with when they attend She Tech Conference? And I'm assuming for 2018? Absolutely. Since mm-hmm. I've been doing this, that's the honest that's the honest feeling that women have been walking away from because those feelings are honest. Mm-hmm. But when you are whispering it to yourself, it still doesn't sound real unless someone else can confirm how you're feeling about it. Mm. And when you have male counterparts, you're not as ashamed if they can tell you some things on how you can improve. But when a woman tells you, it's like, ah. I don't, you know, she sees my, my weaknesses. That's okay at She Tech. All the women that attend She Tech or when I do my meetups or when I, I have a She Tech creatives platform where I interview the women or I, I point women to each other. Hey, you're looking for someone to work with? I have someone for you. And that's the commitment. So the transparency is there. The honesty is there. What you're feeling is real. How do you fix it? Mm, gotcha. You talk to me. You can talk to another woman. You can look on the profiles. If I highlight a woman that's done this already and you want to do that, you can reach right out to her and say, hey, I met you at She Tech. I get a lot of a lot of women are like, hey, LA, I met this one and that one at She Tech, and they're all working together. And you know what? We pay each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't work free. There's a, there's a financial component to this that is automatically understood with She Tech. Mm-hmm. That when you connect to these women and you want to collaborate and create, there's a cost that comes with that. Nothing gets done for free. And that's the expectation. When you're ready to work, you have to be willing to pay people for their time. And also, women have to start putting a number on themselves. How much do you charge? Mm -hmm. What are your budgets? Mm -hmm. If I want to hire you, what should I be paying you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, if I can't afford it when I'm ready, then I can come to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So those are the things that women walk away from. And there's a lot of creativity in the room. Mm-hmm. Same for songwriters, filmmakers, women that have tech companies that can, you know, work with hardware and software. Gotcha. Wonderful. PR, you know, publicists, uh, you know, PR firm, like all of these things, all the things that I'm passionate about, because those are my things, music and television, Mm -hmm. film, I can watch TV all day, I can go to the movie theater and watch three films Mm -hmm. in one day. Absolutely. And analyze the film and see how it connects to the real world, and when I'm thinking about what film I haven't seen, what documentary I haven't seen, what am I going to produce next? You know, what social... Uh, problems do I want to address while I'm working on television and film content? Gotcha. Okay. So tell so, me what 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 will you be doing with at uh, She Leads 2017 later this month? 
Well, being that I'm an official partner with She Leads this year, mm -hmm. we decided to um, organize a small panel for women in entertainment so the women in the audience can get a sense of what She Tech is about. Mm. And then they'll be interested in wanting to attend next year. And then I can meet other women that are doing something that I can see that can be a potential panelist. And mm -hmm. just the networking. And then again, supporting another platform. Mm. The She Leads conference is something different from she tech and mm -hmm. so i wanted to support to support my colleague and that's what you do you support one another we may all do the same things but we're different people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And absolutely it's for everyone and i wanted to make that statement and saying one conference can partner with another conference and it doesn't hurt anyone Absolutely. I love that because I think a lot of times people do forget that abundance isn't limited. And like you said, you even if we were doing the same things, we're different people. So automatically it's going to have a different effect. It's going to have a different impact. And there is no like limit as to how many slices in the pie are available to everyone. No. And that's what makes you more confident. Mm -hmm. You know, as a person, and, and, and it shows my, my transparency, how I talk is how I walk. Mm -hmm. If I say women should work together and build each other up, I'm doing it on the highest level. I'm, I'm, I'm joining another conference. Absolutely. I was able to put um, women together that I know that work that follow she tech. And I say, hey, let's you want to be on a panel this year? And then I, any time I give, get an opportunity to highlight a creative woman in entertainment, that is what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Everyone's chance, you know. Now. So we'll talk about, you know, mm -hmm. everyone's careers, what they're doing. Um, I have an actress. I have a female DJ. I have a, all females. So I don't have to say that. But I have an actress, a DJ, an audio engineer. Mm -hmm. I have a tech, a woman in tech, because I love tech. I'm a gadget girl. Mm -hmm. I have a singer. Cool. So, you know, you'll get a little bit of everyone. And then I have one of the ladies she's going to perform at the VIP party as well as at the end of the conference. Very nice. All right. So now what practical advice do you have for women who are very serious about getting either into media or the entertainment industry? What do they need to do to either start their career or take their career to the next level? I think the first thing is that you should definitely know that it's a passion of yours because passions are something that you're eager to wake up in the morning to. Mm -hmm. uh, you fight between continuing to work on something and getting a uh, good night's rest. That's passion. Mm -hmm. You know, the ideas don't stop coming. That's passion. And when you know that you have a passion for entertainment, now you can start to study the business. Mm -hmm. You have to learn the industry. If you're a singer-songwriter, you need to know what are all the ways that you can earn money. If, if you're a producer, you write scripts, you need to know what are all the different ways that you can make money because after passion comes the money. You have to know how are you going to earn money because then if you don't earn money, it's going to be a hobby. Mm -hmm. So you have to study the industry and know the different ways that you can earn the money. And then from there, you start to build your company. You have to know that you have to be a company. Mm. This bank account, trademarks, logos, copyrights, you know, an LLC, incorporate your business. All of those things you need to be ready for. So when someone writes you a check, that check gets deposited into your business account. You need to know the tax laws. You have to operate like a business and think like a business. So when you're thinking like a business, Everything you do, you will charge people. You won't be doing anything for free. And then identify the strong people that you can work network with. The people that you want on your team have to be strong people. They have to be able to think. All of those, all of those things are practical for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, just something practical for everyone else. But I, I knew what my passion was. And then I figured out how am I going to be able to make money doing this? What are all the different ways I can make money doing this? Absolutely. And then I, and I set up my company. Wonderful. Okay. And I just started to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And, and I didn't have any um, outside interference. Very <laughs> focused. You have to stay focused. Expect to spend long hours doing things. Keep yourself physically healthy and mentally healthy. Those are very practical things. Gotcha. None of the other stuff comes until you get those things nailed down. 
Gotcha. Okay. Now, when it comes to your passion projects, what are some of the things that you're working on? Um, I'm very passionate about film and television, right? So, mm -hmm. um, visually, you can show people anything you want them to see. So, um, I have a social service background, and so I have always um, identified with social problems in the world and why people don't have certain things, the certain course that people take. It's because of something. So I always want to bring those to light. So I'm going to be working on a project about children and, and ways that we're supposed to support children. Mm. And then I executive produce a project called Big Boys Don't Cry. It's a bullying project through the eyes of the bully and not the victim. Okay. So I did very well with that. Um... And I have a few more scripts that were submitted to me because I like to partner with other people because I don't write scripts too well. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I'm going to be looking to hire some people to do some screenwriting for me. Mm -hmm. A couple of projects that are character based. But I always like to go to documentary style. I like to go that route because those are honest testimonials. You get to see and, you know, look into someone's life. And, and know and know it to be true. Mm -hmm. So that's the next project that I'm going to work on. Wonderful. Awesome. Now, uh, for 2018, what should people, what should women be expecting from te She Tech Conference? Well, I added a new component to She Tech where um, I'm going to be, which is, this is really great because it's going to roll out into something else, but I'm going to be um, taking submissions for a few films to be featured at She Tech next year. Wow. Uh, every year I add something different. And then I think in the next two years or so, I'm going to have a She Tech Film Festival. Super where cool. Where all of the content is going to be from uh, women creatives. Mm. And I'll be looking to fund their next projects. Incredible. Wow. Very, very cool. So uh, do you have a date yet or, or no? We, we've got to stay tuned. Uh, I think you have to stay tuned. I know I like to put dates on things until okay. everything's like signed off. Then I can say this is the date. Because gotcha. you know, when you put a date on it, people are like, hey, LA, I thought that was on its way. You know, I thought that, yeah. I thought that was coming. And, you know, sometimes I really like to uh, revisit things. So if it's not a good idea, I can improve on it. And if it's just something that I can't do, then I have to just let it go and maybe pick up on it another time. And, mm -hmm. Speaking of just revisiting ideas, I had the idea for She Tech in 2006. Wow. So that's something that I always open up my conference and saying that mm -hmm. the idea that I had, I put it in a, a folder in my computer and named it. And the same folder that I work from has the same date when I created it. Wow. Crazy. So that just, you know, just to show women that I'm very consistent and you have to keep it going. If you believe in it, your confidence, it'll be there. You don't let it go. There's a time for everything. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So thank you for being so honest and sharing wonderful things that you're working on and how women can, uh, you know, be similarly inspired and motivated to do what they want to do in life. How can, how can people get in touch with you? Well, you can email me at lay at shetechconference.com, S-H-E-T-E-K conference.com. I'm on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. The Facebook page is, of course, She Tech Conference. The Twitter is at She Tech, S-H-E-T-E-K-K. The Instagram is She Tech Conference. Also, you can follow She Tech Creatives on Twitter and Instagram. And like I said, that's an additional platform where I highlight different women doing things. Um, just, you know, to encourage women to, um, you know, collaborate and create with one another. And that's a way that you can. I have like these T-shirts that I create and put out for women. Mm -hmm. So that's another way you can follow like any new designs that I put out. So those are the two ways that anyone can reach out if someone wants to know more about She Tech, if they want to partner, they like to volunteer, excuse me, if they want to be a panelist, they can always reach out to me, L-A-Y at SheTechConference.com. Great. Well, I can't wait to meet you in person at She Leads 2017. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.